Mike, come here. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. Mike, come on. Okay. Ah. No, no. Get, get, get Mary, get. Right, okay, okay, okay. 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 Hello, viewers. And welcome to EMU TV. Here's our first program. <laughs> Hey, Freddy. Yeah? It's me, Bubba. I know. Yeah. What do you, what do you got there? Something that you're never going to see, Bubba. These are my release papers. I'm getting out of here today. You're kidding. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me see them. Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. These are mine. Oh, mine. Uh, get out today, huh? Yep. Yep. Those are the release papers. Release papers. Well, you lucky guy. Well, getting out today. Well, you know, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Papers, you've stolen everything else now. Just let me have my release papers, please. All right, there you go. Hey. Hey. You've been a nice guy to me. I'm gonna be nice to you. Freddy. What? Bubba saying, take care of yourself. And it's Freddy saying goodbye to you, Bubba. Didn't think you'd ever do this. It's okay. Thank you very it's much. Okay, in my book. Bye-bye. I should miss you, Bubba. Good morning. Good. Ah, oh, your release papers. Yep. Bubba, you don't get out of here for another 10 or 15 years. I'm hey, Warden! I'm not... Freddy! I'm over here. I'm ready to go. Come on! Hey! Just... I'm, I'm not Bubba! He's Bubba! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Are you ready? Because now it's time for our exciting cereal. <laughs> With Croc captured by the aliens, the others are bravely searching the planet for him. Oh, oh, hey, no lady. Oh, I, I don't see how I could be the first one to be pushed out onto this here alien planet searching for the Halligator. No, they're all taking the line of duties as a manservant at all. It ain't. No, here, come on, let's go back. Not until we find Croc. He's got to be around here somewhere. Croc? Croc? Yeah. You know what that other one said? You know, my double, that streaky, whatever his name was, he said this place was inhabited by... Um... Guppies! Yeah. Guppies, that's why he said, yeah. Here, I bet they're watching us every minute. Watching our every move they are. Oh, doomed we are. Doomed! <laughs> Oh, don't, don't cry, Croc Bags. I'm sure that wherever Croc is at this very minute is being very brave. Yeah, yeah, fighting all them goppets, eh? Yeah. Bashing them all yeah. up, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Biting all the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to him, Croc! Yeah, go on, Croc! Bash it up, Croc! Croc. Croc. Oh, <laughs> give it to him, Croc! Help! Help! Oh, I want to go home. <laughs> Grovelbeast. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. Where'd you get the silly suit from? By the power of Grey Grovel. You're not Grovel. You're the other one. You're a stubble. Oh, dear. This miserable thing is not Super Croc. Correct, Master. We have tested his cloak, and it's only a cheap copy made in Japan. Look. That means Super Croc is still free. He will try to rescue the Earthlings. He will not succeed, Master. The Goppets are already after them. <laughs> Come on, we haven't searched over here yet. Croc! 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 Where, are you? Croc, where Croc. are you? Is that Croc? Croc! Come on, you must be somewhere. Oh, Croc, where are hey, you? I've got an idea. Why don't we split up? That's a good idea. Yes. You search over there and I'll search over here and Grovel, yeah. you can... Where's Grovel? He was here just now. Grovel? 
Gravel! Gravel! The, the gumpets! Oh, no, 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 no! Well, well, what are we going to do now? Well, we mustn't give up. No. no, we must carry on with our plan. No. Yeah, you go and search over there. Yeah. And I'll, I'll search around here. Yeah. Gravel! 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 Come on, stop messing about. We know you're here somewhere. Gravel! Yeah. I know what we'll do. We'll sit down and think we'll have a really good plan. Oh, oh that's better. Oh. What's the matter with you? What do you mean? What, the rock? Yes, of course it's the rock. I'm sitting on the rock. Yes, I am. Look. It's... It's a furry rock. <laughs> oh, no, I knew it! Croc! Rubble! Croc! Just you come here at once, do you hear me? It's no use. They've completely disappeared. next week. Hi, I'm Murray, technical staff here. And uh, Carolyn, cafeteria lady. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're here to do the weather because Rod's busy as usual. And, well, the weather outlook is, uh, looks like it's going to be sunny if you look over there. He's out of his mind. It's going to be cloudy because our cloud's right over there. So. Well, no, no, but the sun is coming in from over there. You can see the sun coming in very brightly and As shining. As I said before, he's out of his mind because there are big cumulus clouds coming in from the east. There's no cumulus clouds cumulus over clouds. there. There's see no, them right I don't. There. The sun is over there, okay? And there's clouds over there, and the clouds are going that way, and the sun is coming this way. So oh, it's no, going to be a sunny day. I'm seeing sort Stop of a bright and blue sky up there. Ah, keep quiet, I'm doing the pro. <laughs> We're doing the programs, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, and now it's time for our, our Western drama. The good, the bad, and the stupid. And this week, it's the stupid. Your mom put too much starch in your underwear, too? Yeah. You too? Yeah. Oh. It's take ten and rod. Da 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 one little miracle a day is all I need. Tea ruffles more or less bother me, I guess, when the sun doesn't shine. But there's a pocket full of miracles, and with a pocket full of miracles, the world's so bright and shiny, apple that's mine. Oh my I hear sleigh bells ringing Smack in the middle of May I go around like there's snow around I feel so good, it's Christmas every day Like the carousel, as far as I can tell And I'm riding for free So if you're down I've got a pocket full of miracles da, 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 And there'll da, da, be da, da, miracles da, da, enough for you and me Da-da-da-da-da-da-ya-da da, 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 da. 
sponge. You know, I just love my laundry since I discovered new scunch bouncing soap. It just makes my laundry, oh, it's so bouncy clean. Of course, please use it sparingly. It's just eyes and beetles and removes the wanted hair. Sponge! And now it's cartoon time. But as you know, EMUTV hasn't got a lot of money and we haven't really got a cartoon. But what we have got, we've got a lightning artist who's going to draw the pictures as I tell the story. So, all settled down now, here comes your cartoon. Once upon a time, there was a little bird called Emu, and he lived in, out in Australia. And ever since he could remember, he wanted to go and dance at the National Ballet Theatre in Toronto. So he got a boat. Can you finish that one? <clears throat> so he got a boat, and he decided... Where are you? And he decided to leave his country of Australia and go to Canada, because he wanted to dance at the National Ballet. But when he got out at sea, the boat engine broke down. And the boat engine broke down, and Emu lay down in the bottom of the boat to die. And he was giving up when just then, fluttering overhead, was a little pigeon who saw his plight. And the pigeon fluttered down and picked up a rope on the front of the boat and towed Emu all the way across the oceans. And when it got to Toronto, Emu went into the National Ballet Theatre and told them how he'd left Australia. How he'd left Australia. The other one. No, the other one. How he'd, how he'd left Australia. Chump. Yeah. How he'd left Australia in his little boat and how when he got to sea, the engine had broken down and he'd laid down in the bottom of the boat to die and how the pigeon had come down and towed him all the way to Toronto. But the National Ballet Theatre didn't want him. And they threw him out. And the reason was that the National Ballet Theatre don't have pigeon toed dancers. from Nottingham, and they are We've Damien, the Richard and Nick. OK, kids, let's get to the starting block now. Come on, then. Are we all ready, then? Yes. Three, two, one, go! because we were miles behind at the start, weren't we? Can, can you all come round here, gang? That's it. Who have we got? Now, we've got Chris and we've got Stephen and we've got Dean. And what are you going to spend your money on? Cup, scare, pet. 
the Cub Scout pack. Have you got the check there, Sarah? Pass it along to our winning team, because that's what you get right here on Emu's Challenge. Yeah! And now, the last night show. This one's right down the end of the corridor. You have to wait till you get out, which won't be very long now. <laughs> right, and let's get on with our next guest, someone who needs no introduction, a very famous face and a very beautiful lady. Would you please welcome Miss Diana Christie? <laughs> Diana, Diana will be, be with us any minute now, and, and Diana will be here very soon, and when she does, I'm sure you're going to have a Rod? great time. Yeah. Rod? Rod? Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Hi. I don't clean it off. That's all this spray they I put off. I can't get in. You yeah. can't get in? No, the, the curtain. I can't get through the curtain. Yeah. Well, try the other way, up there. All right. Hi, Emu. Hi. Yes, Diana will be with us uh, in a minute now, and she's going to have lots of interesting things to tell us about her career. Rod? Yeah. What? The door. I can't. It's locked. I can't get in there either. It's what? Locked, and I'm. It's very high up here, Rod, and I'm. I can't get in there. Yeah. Well, never mind. Tell us what. What have you been doing uh, recently, Diana? Well, I. I. Hello. I just finished um the life story of Petula Clark. It's what? called. And um. Pardon? And I'm going to do. What? A, a re Can you hear me? Can you speak up a bit? Sure. I'm going to be doing a remake of Abbott and Costello meets The Godfather. It's called Who's Got the Last Laugh Now? When? Um, Who said what? It's, you can't hear me, can you? I can't hear a word you're saying. Do you think that the emu could let me in or somebody? Yeah. I uh, we'll sort it out. Okay. Funny lady. Rod? What? I, just can't, I can't get down and I can't get out. And I can't get in. What's this all about? Oh, stay there. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for this week, viewers, on here on EMU TV. But before we leave you, we're going to provide you with a service that only EMU TV does provide. We're going to clean the inside of your television screen. I've got some sponge here. This way you'll get much clearer pictures. So it's good night from us at EMU TV. And it's good night from me. Ah! And with a pocket full of miracles, the world's so bright and shiny, Apple that's mine, all oh mine. In the middle of May I go around like there's snow around I feel so good, it's Christmas every day Life's a carousel, as far as I can tell And I'm riding for free So if you're down and out of miracles I've got a pocket full of miracles and there'll be miracles enough for you.